All right, yeah. Thank you, uh, Cap. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 7. Yeah, hold on, hold on for a second. Hold, hold on for a second. Does this have to do with the topic? Because I want to... I yeah, no, oh, yeah, I'm saying on topic. I'm saying on yeah, topic. Deuteronomy 7 is topic, Tony. All right, cool. Uh, let's start with the first verse. When the Lord God should bring thee into the land, with the goes to possess it, and had cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Gizzites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Pezzarites, and the Havites, and the Jebusites, seven nations radiant and mighty them. And when, thou, when the Lord thy God should deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them, and thou destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show unto any unto them. Neither shall shall make marriages with them. Thy daughters shall not give unto their sons, nor their daughters nor to take unto them. For they who shall turn from their sons, for they will turn away thy sons from the father of me, that they may serve other gods. So will, will, so will the anger of the Lord be killed against you and destroy thee, etc. He was, he, he, I think Moses was speaking of Pacific nations when he said not to marry. Is that is that true? Was he did, did he single them out these nations? Who he not the well, these nations was greater than than Israel, and he will later destroy it. So he said not to go back in, or not to marry their sons of man. Then he was talking to those nations. I don't think he was talking to uh, you know it was Pacific. He had a Pacific target. It, it's hey they messing with you in the chat. It's specific, not Pacific. They messing with you in Thank the chat. You, Thank you. No, I'm just being funny, Wayne. Hey, but um, Let's so in, Deut in Deuteronomy seven, he does name nations, right? But in naming those nations, with the Israel, and and what I want to say is, for three hours and thirty nine minutes, I've been waiting for this question to be asked because this is like a good teaching point and a lesson to be learned about the spirit of the law and the letter of the law and what they understood back then. So, of course, in Deuteronomy 7 and 1, he names those different nations that he's saying you shouldn't be around, you shouldn't sleep with, you shouldn't marry. And um, what the prophets took from that is that that meant to not marry nobody. That's what that law is saying. So I'm going to show you. This is 1 Kings, this is 1 Kings 11 and 1. It says, but King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh. Women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edom, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. Now, these are nations that are not a part of Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. I'm in mean, 1 Kings 11 and 1. This is verse 2. It says, Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, You shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they would turn your heart away after other gods. That's how you know Deuteronomy 7 applied to any nation. Because when Solomon did it, he sinned. And then, and this is the reason. It says, for surely they would turn away your heart after their gods, and Solomon clave unto these in love. Now, let's think about what happened when Solomon did this. Solomon sinning by sleeping with Edomites, Zidonians, Hittites, Ammonites, and Moabites split the kingdom in half. The Lord took the kingdom from Solomon, raised up, I think, Jeroboam or Ephraimite to fight against the kingdom, excuse me, to fight against Israel. Because what did Solomon start doing? And remember, and I noticed I said this in the beginning of the conversation, I said if a black man and a black woman get together, one is a Christian, one is a Muslim, they're going to compromise their beliefs. And that's what Solomon did. Solomon did exactly what Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter said would happen. And what he did was, was he slaved to them in love, built false idols. It angered the Lord. The Lord split the kingdom in two. You got that. And then I'm going to go to Nehemiah 13 and 26. This is what Nehemiah said, because the children of Israel was marrying other nations and all the book of Nehemiah. And Nehemiah 13 and 26, this is what Solomon said for them. Excuse me. This is what Nehemiah said when they was marrying other nations. He said, did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations, there was no king like him who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Verse 13, excuse me, verse 27. 
Shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil to transgress against our God in marrying strange wives? You know, they kicked them kids out and their wives. So Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter is the litmus test of our understanding that we're not supposed to marry. When I'm saying what the nations that I'm going to name now, because my position is that the Israelites are the blacks, Hispanics and native Indians. So blacks, Hispanics and native Indians, we can marry each other. So a Puerto Rican can marry a black, a Dominican can marry a Puerto Rican, but we cannot marry Chinese people, Japanese people, African people, Arab people, or white people. You got it, Wayne. Yeah, so my question. So if a white Christian marry a, a Chinese Christian, is it lawful? I don't care what they do because they ain't the children of God. 